What's up, man? What's up, brother? Hey, we made it. We made it to Kansas City. We right. We made it. Say hello. Hello. We got Senior Savage with us. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Don't don't get the ball spot in the back. It's coming through. <laughs> 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 well, we're starting this video off right at Canes, getting some chicken. Oh yeah. But we've been driving through the day. For those that don't remember, this is Matt. We stopped at his place when we drove my. I didn't say yeah, life. when we drove the hatch to Florida, we were about to we were about to pass out before uh, Matt yeah, offered us a place to stay. <laughs> no, it was the fumes. The fumes were bad, <laughs> super bad. <laughs> Oh, you did run it? No, I'm, we tried to put it on the dyno, but it had issues with the axle, kicking the axle out of training and stuff. Oh, dang. I've been really thinking about that all wheel drive life, though. So. Oh, right? yeah. That's where it's at. Well, and the B Series stuff still's not there yet. No. So, we're gonna figure it out. It's on the way, though. Yeah. It is. We've got to come for Shane's. Real quick. We can do it, yeah. That's a good idea, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, because the, the plastic tabs yeah, on the brake. Yeah, oh, those. That's yeah. sweet. That is awesome. That looks so beefy. So you haven't been able to run it since we hmm. been here last? No, no. Mm. We got on the dyno. That was it. But just problem after problem after problem. You're trying to go to that last place of cars in Houston, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So clean. All right, so we've driven about 10 hours. We got some food, met up with Nick the Savage and our buddy Matt. We're actually staying over at his place tonight. That's McCreary Racing, same place we stopped when we drove the hatch to Florida. We're taking a little break, get some sleep in, and we will continue our journey in the morning. So, thanks for letting us stay. Well guys, we left Matt's this morning and about two hours in, uh, something happened to the truck. Uh, she's spitting oil and she does not sound very happy. So something pretty bad may, may have broke on the, on the Cummins and uh, now we gotta get this figured out. Yeah, it left a big trail of oil. So might have blew a motor or something. We're not too sure. So we gotta get this figured out now. Something, man. Always something. I have the worst luck with trucks, bro. So, tried to do it right and get a nice truck, and this thing freaking blew up. <laughs> it's not even funny. I don't know, and we, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. There's always something. Every trip. Never goes easy. Well, through the help of some fans, we found a flatbed, and uh, we're going to be taking my truck to a nearby diesel shop, and we haven't figured out what to do with the trailer just yet. We do have another guy that said we could probably borrow his truck for the week. Um, but for now, we're going to at least get everything unhooked and get my truck on the way to a shop. And I'm just gonna have to leave it there while we're gone. We just don't have time to really mess with it. And uh, yeah, we got a whole line of cars out here. People saw us on the side of the road and they stopped to come hang out. But yep, pretty unfortunate. We also did run into town uh, about an hour ago and we looked for rentals everywhere they're all sold out no one has anything yeah, so Monday. yeah they did have a suburban that we're not supposed to tow with that we almost got to tow with but we just ended up not doing that because it was also expensive yeah, yeah they wanted 1300 bucks for yeah. barely a week so be, yeah it was 14 taxes yeah more fans with trucks yeah <laughs> cars. i know these are all car guys we, we need to start a diesel, diesel channel <laughs> So everyone will be showing up in diesel trucks. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's done, guys. Like, there's the trailer oil. We did confirm. We confirmed that it's oil, not tranny fluid. So something inside there wanted to uh, not work right. <laughs> something inside there was over it. Last pit bike. Why? <laughs> Just can't have nice things. It's like the nicest thing you own. Bro. That was the nicest was thing the I nicest. have ever had in my life. And now everyone's gonna be saying, you should have bought a Dodge, you should have bought a Chevy, you should have bought a Ford. You know, all the diesel guys are gonna, you should have bought this. You know, you may be right, but I bought this and this is where <laughs> we're at. Oh, man. This is Dodge, this is Dodge the Coach, bro. Well, this set us back a little bit, but at least we got fans. Yeah. Yeah, Makes man. it a lot better. So, too, so many fans yeah. stopped by, bro. Yeah, look, we got all these people on the side of the road. We ain't alone. We're not alone. Goodness, we stayed at Matt McCurry's last night. You yeah, because this, this would have been, been this would have been the at the night. middle of the night. Yeah. Cold, cold. We would have been angry. Alright, we're good to go. Ready? Awesome. Um, we'll stop at the fast lane right over. It's the first gas station, right? Okay. Alright, so we got my truck loaded up and this is a fan coming in clutch letting us use his truck to bring the trailer with us to the same shop that we're bringing my truck to. This is not the same guy that's letting us borrow the truck for uh, the time we are going to be in Florida. This is another guy that just happened to stop by on the side of the road. And uh, we're just taking all of this to the same place so we can at least get mine out of the way and kind of forget about that for now because we got to just keep going and uh, we'll get it all figured out. Yay. Man, thank you. JDM for the win. Yeah. Now look at this guy's shirt. Yeah. JDM. JDM. Sorry, JDM James. Sorry, JDM James. Are you finding a ride or we're just taking your truck? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> you want me to call you an Uber? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I didn't see it was that long. That's the trail from my truck. Look at that. All the way. All the way down. I was in the left lane when I saw it. And I had to slow down, let a semi get in front of me and get over. I thought we blew a tire because I heard a little, and then like I saw a bunch of smoke, so I pulled over. I was thinking the tire blew off, but then when I opened up the door, you could hear the motor just loud. Yeah, it's not loud. happy. I just saw the turn signal and smoke, and I'm like, oh crap! I, yeah, I saw exit. you. Pull, I saw him pull over. You're like, you almost missed it. I do, but I mean, that's a lot of oil. R.I.P. Dodge. R.I.P. Dodge. Couldn't dodge that issue. <laughs> See those big slicks? Oh, yeah, here looks like they got a diesel performance shop over here. We'll just have them throw some slicks on it while they're at it. Right. Thousand get it back, and it'll just be a new, new race truck. The journeys we go on. No. Oh. <laughs> We're supposed to be almost to Tennessee by now. <laughs> yeah, we would have been there. We would have been at Tom's. Yeah. We were supposed to be there at five. Got my truck dropped off, Austin, with Carl's towing. He got it dropped off for us with his uh, flatbed and uh, definitely came in clutch, so huge shout out to him. And uh, yeah, so we got her over here and they're taking a look at it, but we're probably just gonna have to leave it here while they diagnose what happened. What's hot for a wise What's hot for a transmission? Yeah. Like the 210. 210 is hot? Yeah. We're in 204 yeah. all the way here pulling a trailer in my truck. Oh yeah, it was Yeah, like Tranny was hot too. Well, was it just low on oil or just now? It's low, but it's not low, it's low. It's not out. It's probably hmm. just everything that spit out. 
So like a trail down the highway. To figure out, well, like if something busted in the could have took flex the plate or anything, could have took the rear main out. That's what yeah. I was thinking. It's got training. Yeah, we checked. Yeah, we checked the fluids before we, we checked checked yeah. everything before we left. But it definitely was. But it was hot. eating fuel too, like way more than. Yeah, it was only getting like seven points. And there's a, what's the check engine light you said? What's that? What was the check engine light? It had a TCC code. Yeah, the torque converter lockup code. All right, so we're waiting for the guy that's gonna let us borrow a truck to come because he's right next door to these guys. So that's why I said just bring the truck over here so they can look at it. They gave us the code to the door. <laughs> he's pretty trusting. Oh, wow. Whoa. What, dude? Dude, dude, what the heck is he in here? <laughs> Full fiberglass body, bro. Whoa, bro. Dang. Dang. Let's borrow one of these. Look at that Mustang. Yeah, we can pull it with that Mustang. Ooh, dang. John Jacobs love that. Dang. Jacobs would be all over this. Whoa. Muscle cars for days. This is sick. This is yeah. sweet. This guy just gave us the go to the shop, bro. Look at his print. Oh, man, it's sick. Is it, look at that Mustang. Show enough. Show enough. <laughs> this is the motor for the Mustang. Sean be pumped. This is tight. It's a nice little shop. Look at those two up there. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh. What, dude? Holy mackerel. These are this some awesome cars, man. man. Dude. 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 Really? This is badass. This is unreal, man. This is Do you think right he'd now. just let us take these for the MR2? What the heck, bro? Switch the MR2. I need, I need the wheelie bars. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is sick. This is, this is amazing. Where are we, Jamie? This yeah. stuff happens for a reason. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, look at this one in the chassis. Like, dude, look at this. This stuff happens for a reason. <laughs> People would never have known about this if this hadn't happened, right? Man, we gotta step our game up at the shop, bro. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. This is, this is awesome. That's what they build on, bro. Showing up. That is sweet. Oh, yeah, man. Dang. We got a little Honda oh, wow. K-Series over there, too. We do, so that's one of my employees. I don't know what series of Honda motor that is, but dang. it is a Honda motor, I know that much. It's yeah. rad, man. Look at you go. We just built this building. We need an engine room. This is awesome. Just build motors on the dirty floor. I've done that way too much in my life. It'd be so nice to have a room like this, just like just a clean room. Yeah, man, this is great. Maybe one day we'll be this legit. One day, man. We just need to paint the doors black because their hands are really. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you're lying. Or at least a pattern around the door. Yeah. Yeah, where you touch yeah. it. Because this, is, is this is a full machine shop back here. <laughs> you wouldn't even ever know from the outside either. No. That's so pretty. This is good. Thank you. This is awesome. It, you don't have to this is really leave good. for anything. Just do it all in-house. That's why we kind of did it. That's sweet. Yeah, it's hidden, bro. You can do hell. Oh, from the outside? We tried to keep them. That car was at the MIR also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we saw it out there. Yeah. Which is getting a little bit hard right now after that. Oh, really? That's why everything's out. That's for sale. John Jacobs? What car <laughs> you need? What was he running? That's a coyote deal with a single... I don't know what size that is. Big. Big. Single big. Single big. <laughs> single big. Yeah. This is what we're taking? <laughs> we upgraded. Let's go, boys. You might Damn. not get this back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he's counting on. <laughs> he needs to sell it. Yeah, he said it's for sale. <laughs> well, someone's coming to buy it on Monday? But it won't be here Monday. So oh. we should have it. So we're like, you have to wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we'll test drive. What do you think, guys? Should I make the switch to a Ford? <laughs> no. I'll just go through them all. Oh I'll God. start with the Dodge, See, get one of these. Well, you, yeah, okay, I'll just show you my Dodge because we know it works. <laughs> Jamie's ready for the Ford. Oh, look at the little weenie dog. Comes with the dog too, bro. Sketchy's broke down right now too. Is he? Is he? No way. Yeah. No way. He's leaking a radiator. 
Oh, okay. That, at least that's not as least, bad. He's an hour and eight minutes away from Columbia, though. He's. It happened Literally right like where. Weird, that's a br right here, Bermuda Triangle for trucks Bermuda. breaking down. <laughs> 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 Don't go over there. Mm -mm. Just got the word sketchy <laughs> broke down right by where we did. Right by where we did. <laughs> What's the bicycle? Is that somebody's that's, unicycle? That's my yes, unicycle. that's his unicycle. I didn't have room in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in here looking at him like, okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> About to lose his Grinch thing. Which one? The so, plate? Oh yeah, we should just... What is he doing? <laughs> Let's put that in the trailer. Yeah, that was riding on there the whole time. Hey, all I did was strap down Roman Parker. We looked at that the other day and he's like, oh, I gotta tighten that. Forgot yeah, to tighten it. It's still there. Yeah, right. Oh, the it was a good thing we came and you know looked at it. Yeah. yeah. I think this is a blast to drive in. You like riding a motorcycle, you know? You're like, bye, 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 bye. Same driving now. You're just, bye, bye, bye. That's awesome. Wow. It hasn't made a pass yet on this setup. Yeah. So. So that'll be fun. Yeah. At least you guys are going to better weather. Yeah, that's it. Y'all yep. just missed the snow. Like two days ago, we had five inches of snow over there. We're back in business. Back in business. <laughs> Built for tough. <laughs> We're switching now. <laughs> hey man, took the Ford to save the Dodge. Pretty blessed. It's yeah. awesome. Honestly. Well, guys, Cody here is letting us borrow his 2013 Power Stroke. It looks like we're ready to get back on the road and go. So we left the, the Dodge over at his neighbor's next door because they have a diesel shop and they're going to take a look at it while we're gone and see what they figure out on it and then. I don't know what we're gonna do with it from there, but yeah. all we can do now is really just get going and continue our journey down. Right. So we got like places we gotta, to be, but I mean. It's like we gotta wash the trailer now, it's so dirty compared to the truck. <laughs> I know. It's a good look, it all matches now. It does all match, it's all white and black. So yeah, it looks good. And the truck is for sale, so we'll see how she does. <laughs> that's the truck, that's the trailer. <laughs> that's about the <laughs> Truck and trailer. <laughs> Good comparison. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I can't thank you enough, man. We were definitely uh, stranded. Time. Came through, saw our post because yeah. we were looking for the truck. Too, yep, man. and Travis. He's gonna be the, the guy. Guys, he's checking out the. Man. Yeah, you can tell he he knows what he's doing. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, let's hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. I guess let's get going. We got some miles. We lost about like five six day. hours today. <laughs> we lost a full day of driving. We're literally back to hey, we we're been back been to worse. about the same we miles not we started on. Yeah. <laughs> At least we got time this time. Because usually yeah. we're like running late. You know, so we have no time. Yeah, I'm glad you guys listened to me on that day to leave this time. <laughs> so much less stress. I don't know if it's because they're so tall, like you don't like the fog lights while you're driving. Awesome same. Fog lights help out. They got the light bar on there too? Oh yeah. Nope. That's Dude, the, it had a top one and it was horrible on it. This is thing That's on auxiliary one if you want to turn it Box off. One. Ox, Ox one. Ox one is the light bar? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to blind somebody or get them out of your way, you turn that on. Oh, man, don't tell <laughs> me get that. Out of the way. Everybody's going to get blind <laughs> now. <laughs> Thank you, man. Anytime. Definitely <laughs> helped us out huge. Good time. Saved us. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Too. Y'all be safe. We appreciate you, have you have man. Yeah, what's your shop called? Starting Line Motorsports. Starting Line Motorsports. And race one engineering. race one engineering yeah. very cool go yeah, check him it. out anytime saved us anytime y'all be safe yeah we'll do thanks man have too much fun thank you for everything man uh, so you're thinking transmission, transmission went out on it. on it so we'll end up having to probably put a bigger turbo or bigger transmission in it turbo. and built we yeah, want to put a turbo a in bit. it we, can yeah. put <laughs> <laughs> we want Whatever to make it fast <laughs> But yeah, he was saying sense, the torque converter probably blew up or something, went out and built converter in it. And you're thinking it just took out that rear main seal, and that's why all the engine oil was on the ground. That makes sense. And it yeah. could have trainy fluid too, cause because it being so hot, it was blowing it out of the transmission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's something that's I never mentioned is I did have the torque converter code yeah. on in the truck, and it's not good to tow with it like that. Like no. it's been on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not good to let transmission sit there with without converter not working right. So. Yeah. I was like, we just had no choice. I was like, that's the only truck I had, and I was just hoping it would Make be it. all right. Yeah. 
Well, well, well but you guys have a safe place, journey. I think. Yeah, yeah, we made it to the right place. Appreciate it, man. So, uh, I'll help you guys out as much as I can. So. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it, man. You, Travis, for sure. well, what's the name of your shop? Edwards Diesel. Edwards, Edwards, Edwards man. That's a real diesel shop. Missouri. Yep. Awesome. Let's come guys. All right. See you guys. See y'all later. Yeah, we can't forget JDM James as well. Came in clutch with the ride over here. Picked up our trailer. Thank you, man. No problem. Appreciate that. Well, guys, what a freaking day. We just made it to our buddy Tom's over here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, the truck we are borrowing did great. Can't thank Cody enough for coming through and letting us borrow his Ford. And without you guys, you know, reaching out to us and so many other people offered uh, trucks and stuff as well and to offer to come help. And just really can't thank you guys enough. So blessed to have you all just helping out, getting us through this. So if it weren't for you guys, we probably would have been stranded and yeah we would have been set back a couple days getting all that sorted out but luckily uh we found a way to continue on our journey and we have to get up first thing in the morning and drive 10 more hours to tampa and uh yeah so we'll go from there really sucks about the dodge uh, i was really hoping that that thing would be a good reliable tow rig and i had it checked out and everything when i first bought it i know it's not a brand new truck but it was definitely very nice and should be more than capable for what we need and they're gonna let me know what's up with it hopefully by monday we'll see what's wrong and i'm probably gonna have no choice but to just uh get it fixed no matter what it costs because it's really gonna be my only way back and i don't think getting it shipped back would be a good idea either just to have another mechanic shop you know fix it for whatever the same price would probably be so yeah that sucks about the truck and hopefully it's nothing too major so we'll figure that out when the time comes. I'll keep you guys updated. And um, another thing, uh, we did meet up with Sketchy Vert on the way back. Uh, so that was cool. He continued on without us a little bit. Uh, we met up with him. And then we also actually met with Eric Hux from Hux Racing. Because he is actually down in Nashville as well. Or just outside of Nashville. Um, and he actually just came by not too long ago and checked out the MR2 and stuff. Which is awesome. I'm glad he got to see it in person I'm glad we got to meet in person awesome guy and so we hung out for a bit and just kind of chatted inside it's pretty cold out right now but yeah that is going to be it I guess for tonight we will continue on in the morning and hopefully we have a nice safe trip with no issues tomorrow the rest of the way to Florida is what we're praying for and uh, yeah just keep going from there so thank you guys for watching regardless and uh, we'll see you tomorrow